This morning, attorneys for 24-year-old Marine veteran Daniel Penny are defending his decision to put Jordan Neely in a chokehold on a New York subway train. He was fearful for the safety of those passengers. So when he acted, his mindset was to keep his fellow passengers safe from attack. Neely, who, according to his family, suffered from mental illness and homelessness, was later pronounced dead. Penny's defense says Neely had been threatening passengers. Acting erratically, menacing other individuals by flailing his arms. And was heard saying he didn't care if he went to prison for life. And the passengers actually have said that they interpreted that mean, well, when would you go to prison for the rest of your life if you kill somebody? So everybody got the message. They also say Penny advised emergency responders on the correct way to perform CPR on Neely, but prosecutors say there was no indication Neely was violent and that Penny kept him in that chokehold for several minutes, even after Neely stopped moving. We don't want it where you can kill someone because you thought there was a possibility they could do something to you. Neely family attorneys say the manslaughter charge is not enough. Is that enough for someone who choked somebody out on the train and took their life. Five to 15 years. Penny's attorneys claim the charges were rushed, saying there was supposed to be a grand jury presentation. And suddenly uh, we got a, a call um, one night before uh, Danny was asked to surrender. Justice! Help me. Officials have been under pressure in the case with protests erupting after Neely's death and now new video of the incident could soon be released. What I would say is, look, you know, that there's, there's been some video that's out. Uh, it's not all out. There's more to come. The Manhattan DA says Jordan Neely should still be alive. Meanwhile, a legal defense fund for Daniel Penny has surpassed $2 million with donations from Kid Rock and an endorsement from Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.